Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world. Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and in today's video we are doing part two of my spring decorate with me. Uh, in the first video I just focused on my living room and in this video I'm going to be focusing on my kitchen and dining room and my hutch here. And yeah, and I think that's pretty much it that I'm going to decorate for spring this year. I don't want to go too crazy. I'm not going to do the bedrooms or anything this year. Um, I'm just going to stick to the living room, like the main living area I guess you would say and yeah so today we're gonna do the kitchen dining room and my hutch and without further ado let's jump right into decorating okay so the first area we're gonna start out in today is my kitchen and I have already taken everything off my countertop so that I can give them a good wipe down just because it is spring and I want to do some spring, um, deep cleaning for spring and yeah, so on my countertops, I'm just going to add this white pitcher with my wooden utensils. And then I'm also going to be adding some wooden uh, cutting boards and then some cookbooks. I have, I typically keep my cook uh, cookbooks <laughs> in my cupboard, so I rarely use them. And I really want to try to use them more often. So I am digging them out and putting them on my countertops. I have two from Magnolia Table and I absolutely love Joanna Gaines. So I definitely want to try to use those more. And then I'm just adding a wooden stool that I got years ago at Michael's that I just thought was really cute. I'm also going to add a little bunny and a faux plant. And I'm also going to be adding a candle. and get in that car leave a little note and we'll drive real far let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the open air yeah the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday So on this side of the kitchen, I am going to be adding our paper towel holder. I need to figure something out because I hate the look of this being on our counter. And I don't know, it just has to be at easy access. So on this side, it's more uh, practical things that we use on a daily basis. So I have my paper towels, my um, knife set, and then that little dish with some salt in it. And then I'm going to be adding my clear glass uh, jars back with, I have flour, uh, oats and sugar and then in the corner I'm going to be adding my tea towel ladder that I always have in that corner with a cute little bunny uh, tea towel and then also a picture of beautiful tulips that I got from Amazon hey darling you know we're gonna have a really good time driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright and get in that car leave a little note and we'll drive real far so on this side of my kitchen i am just adding back my bread box after i give it a good wipe down then i also ha have tea on the daily basis so i do have my tea kettle out on my counter because like i said i do use it every day and then i'm going to be adding a bowl that i got thrifting at my on my last thrift haul or actually you wouldn't have seen that video yet so it will be coming out but I ended up finding these the set of three bowls and I just love them so I ended up using the largest one as a fruit bowl on my countertops and then in the corner I'm going to be adding my kitchen scale and some um, mashers I guess that I would call them that I got from Michaels I'm not overly loving this corner so it may or may not change I'm not completely sure yet but that's kind of how this side of my kitchen has come together let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the open air yeah the country 
countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday, baby. Don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. So here I am just going to give my stove a good wipe down and then I'm going to be adding some cute blue checkered tea towels to the handle there and then I'm also going to be adding a little tiny uh, cutting board with a candle on top from Antique Candle Co. I absolutely love their candles. The scent that I'm going to be using today is, I, well, I think it's Sweet Lemon. Um, but yeah, I just love their candles, so I wanted to get a lemon one going because I feel like it makes the host smell fresh and clean, and especially for spring um, on its way, uh, I just love that lemon clean smell. So I wanted to get that going so that it smelled so yummy in my house. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Yeah, we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take So next I'm going to be moving on to my dining room and I'm just going to give my table a good wipe down as my son had some crumbs on there from his breakfast. So I wanted to get those wiped off and then I'm going to be adding a tablecloth now. I don't know how long this is going to last because I do have a little one who likes to tug on things. So we shall see but it is this beautiful blue linen or not blue linen it is linen with blue florals on it and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous and it definitely gives those um country cottage feel and I just absolutely love it and then I ended up moving the hydrangeas that I had in the living room over to my table because my son my youngest son who's two um, kept trying to pull them down from the side table that I had by my sofa so I wanted to get them moved so that he didn't end up hauling that glass crock down onto him so I ended up moving them and I just think that they're absolutely gorgeous on the table and then on this bench I'm just adding a knit throw that I've had for a little while, actually since Christmas, since I did my Christmas decor. And then I'm going to add that um, bunny pillow that I got from Amazon. And then I'm also going to be adding a basket over here to the corner. And I just think it is so cute and it's definitely looking like spring in my home. You had me at a Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too So the last area I'm going to tackle today is my hutch and I'm not really changing a whole lot on here because I do absolutely love my blue transfer wear and I want to keep that out for spring. So I'm not changing any of that. I'm just going to add in a few pops of spring with some greenery and then some of those gold bunnies that I painted in my thrift flip uh, uh, collab. Um, last week so yeah I'm just adding those gold bunnies and then I'm going to add a white pitcher with I think they're called Queen Anne's lace maybe florals to that white pitcher and yeah I just absolutely love how my hutch came together it's very subtle Easter spring but I'm absolutely loving how everything came together this year so that is all to share with you guys today I hope you guys enjoyed this decorate with me and hopefully I gave you some ins inspiration for your spring decor. And if you enjoy these types of videos, I would absolutely love it if you would consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. We can leave and run away.